Hi, my name is Ratna. Um, I'm from Portland, Oregon. My background is in business and I work as a program manager for a big tech company. I'm interested in pursuing my MBA to pivot into a more strategic role. Um, so my journey towards MBA kind of began with needing to take, take a test, obviously. Um, I had looked at the GMAT just because that's kind of what you think of as the test you need to take to go to business school. Um, but I had bought some books during COVID and I just never really got the traction to start studying. I left them behind at my parents' house. And then in 2022, I tried again, got some more books and just kind of always had it on the back burner. Um, to be honest, the math section was just so intimidating to me because you can't use a calculator and it had just been so long since I've done any sort of mental math or geometry or covered any of those sort of topics. Um, and the last test of this kind I've probably taken was the SAT, like back in high school and throughout college, I didn't really have these standardized test type of um, experience really. So getting back into this was um, just sort of new, sort of intimidating. But then when I found out about the GRE and that a lot of business schools do accept the GRE, I thought that could be a really good option um, because it, you're allowed to use a calculator um, that's kind of built in. And so once I figured that out, I decided to focus on the GRE and go full speed ahead. So that was the first thing I wanted to complete before working on figuring out, my, figuring out my target schools or getting any of my other application materials um, together. But to be honest, it was pretty intimidating to even do a diagnostic test. Um, I had looked at a few um, like diagnostic quizzes and um, it just my math skills and stuff were, were really, really weak to the point where I figured, let me just study first and then kind of determine a baseline and then try to get to my target score. Um, so I set myself a goal of getting a 330 on the GRE. And I had looked at a few different resources, but everyone um, just online and on, on the MBA subreddit were really recommending TTP. So that's how I found out about target test prep. And I looked at a few like screenshots of the interface and saw some customer testimonials. And it just seemed like a really, really cool way to like stay organized, cover a lot of the material um, and just really go in depth on the areas where I felt like I needed the most work. So I signed up for, t um, for target test prep for the GRE um, probably at the end of March and I completed the entire course in six weeks. So uh, once I decided to do it, I just really dove in. It was full speed ahead. Um, and I'm really happy with like with how everything went with my journey and the score that I got. Um, and it's really cool to see how far I've been able to come. So one of my favorite things about Target Test Prep is how um, the course is organized in kind of modules and they break it up into sections that are really um, like very piece by piece. So you can kind of go at your own pace. Um, my pace was <laughs> very fast, um, but it was really cool to be able to see the progress I was making, stay organized, keep track of all the um, errors and the error tracker. And so it kind of helped remove that mental burden of staying organized, making a list of all the topics I needed to cover um, and sort of creating a self, um, like self organization framework. Um, they kind of took all of that out of um, your hands and just did it for you so that all I was really focused on was learning the material um, and covering it, getting through it um, at the pace that I needed to. So I ended up doing all the material um, for quant and verbal and then taking the four practice tests that they recommended. Um, and I was able to take my actual exam in mid-May. I took it one time and I got a score that I was happy with. But going a little bit more in depth into what really helped me about the TTP course for Quan, I was able to kind of work more on problems that I had more difficulty with. Um, I remember geometry and then the combina combinations and permutations being some of the most challenging ones. Um, and then things that I was a little bit more familiar with, I could just focus on doing the, ta the problems and not having to um, do every single lesson or just kind of skim through it a little bit more where um, I wanted to learn more. And so it was really cool to kind of combine the knowledge learning along with the type of questions that you'll see on the exam. And one other thing that I really, really liked about how they um, did the quant was they kind of took it from like really basic stuff. And then as you're learning more material, it's not just new material that's kind of separate. They sort of combine everything so that the knowledge really does compound as you get from the beginning of the program towards the end. And then for verbal, I think I was already pretty strong in verbal, but what really helped me with the TTP um, framework was how they um, sort of taught you, taught me more how to approach the questions. So it wasn't just only focused on vocab or like certain types of questions. It was more like in reading comprehension when you get to a really complex type of question, this is how the GRE is trying to test you and this is how you need to approach the question. So 
that really helps me um, know what type of questions to look out for and then um, just using different strategies to get to the right answer. Um, and then I supplemented my vocabulary just with um, like some TTP um, or I guess it was on Quizlet. I think it was just flashcards someone else had created with the with the recommended TTP um, vocab lists. And so all of that together and definitely improved my um, capabilities on verbal as well. So I was able to work through the um, all of the material very quickly. And on my practice test, I think on the very first one that I took, my math was around 161 and my verbal was at around 163. Um, so I still had a little bit of ways to go to reach my target score of 330. Um, and I took a few more practice tests. I think the highest I ever got on math during the practice was um, 164 and the highest I got on verbal was 168. And in the end, I ended up scoring at 329. So I was just one point away from my target score, but I was still re really happy with it. Um, I ended up with a 163 on verbal and a 166 on quant. Um, or no, the other way around, 166 on verbal and 163 on quant so i was really happy with um with how far i'd come and it was really cool to track my journey through um like the ttp dashboard and looking at the areas of improvement versus um like the areas that i was really strong in and it really helped me to keep um all my prog progress organized and it was honestly kind of fun just to see how quickly i was moving through all of the material um and getting closer and closer to my goal so overall ttp was what made it possible for me to study for the test and take it and get a score that I that I was happy with in such a short time frame. So I would definitely absolutely 100% recommend TTP to any of my friends um, or anyone who's out there thinking about taking the GRE or the GMAT uh, who find it intimidating to get started and just stay organized. TTP made it so approachable, convenient um, and really, really effective. So I want to thank the TTP team for putting this together, um, for helping me and so many others reach our goals. Um, as we're working towards any um, any of higher education or anything like that. So thank you, TGP team.